Hi friends, I'm Gastro Guru, aka Prashant Shukla, and welcome to Gastro Guru Kitchen. Today for you, I'm going to prepare a delicious North Indian dish, which is called chicken sag or chicken sagwala. It's also called murk sagwala. So basically, it's chicken cooked in spinach in a in a tomato onion gravy. It's a milder gravy, and we puree the spinach and then cook the chicken in that. So let's get started. All right, friends. So to make our chicken sag or chicken sagwala, which is basically a chicken in a spinach tomato sauce, the first step we're going to do is that we're going to add spinach leaves. These are about 125 grams, you know, of spinach leaves, fresh spinach. I'm going to cover that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it, uh, you know, we're not going to add any water or anything, just let it steam and blanch itself for five minutes and once we come back, we're going to add that, you know, to the blender, make a paste out of it. All right, so see you in five minutes. All right, so it's been about five minutes and we're going to open the lid. And as you can see, the spinach leaves have wilted and, you know, blanch itself. Uh, we didn't add any water. I'm going to just take that and add it to this grinding bowl. And make sure that I get every little piece of it. All right. Now, the next thing we're going to do is going to add one inch ginger. And then I have here two cloves of garlic. And then I have two tablespoons of fresh green chili, you know, chopped finely or it's like a mince. So I'm going to add all that to this. Container. All right. Now to that, I'm going to add about half a cup of water, and then I'm going to cover the container with the blade, and then we're going to make this into a nice fine paste. should be done but let's give it one more okay. all right so that's done we're going to just remove this and set it aside for now the next thing we're going to do is going to start you know cooking and making the chicken sag or chicken spinach or murk sag voila. all right so I've heated this large saucepan. To that, I'm going to add about three tablespoons of oil. Uh, use vegetable oil. You can use sunflower oil. So basically, I'm going to swell the pan so that it's coated nicely with the oil. And then, first thing we're going to do is we're going to add one teaspoon of black peppercorns along with that the next thing is going to go inside is two bay leaves okay. all right so our tomatoes have kind of melted and blended in and so the next thing we're going to add to this tomato onion mixture is the spinach slurry that we made earlier you know that's with the we blanched the spinach and then added garlic and ginger and green chilies so we're going to give it a 
quick stir. Now we can see how the color has totally changed with the lovely spinach slurry you know that we have. You can put a slurry or mixture, a sauce. Sauce might be a better word. Alright, so now what we're going to do is start adding the spices. So here I have two tablespoons of cumin and coriander powder. So you can get it as a mix or you can just get it individually. So it's one tablespoon coriander seeds pounded and one tablespoon cumin seeds. So there's a powder of that. And all these things are available readily in any supermarket or on Amazon. Alright, we're going to give it a quick mix. Then the next thing I'm going to add is one teaspoon of red powder, red chili powder. So this is unlike paprika, it's so spicy and it's got some zinc to it. So we're going to mix that because this is going to be spicy and delicious not overpoweringly hot but nice flavors all right so at this point now i'm going to add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder turmeric you know gives it a nice color and flavor no, so it's very healthy for you. We'll mix that in. It's already smelling awesome. I mean, and we haven't even put in the chicken yet. The tomatoes, the spinach, onions, and you know curry leaves or bay leaves I should say. It's smelling fantastic. Now I'm going to add a little bit of salt and we're going to add more later as need be but not too much up front. You can always add more but you cannot take out what you put in well, if it becomes salty or if it's too much. So you got to be mindful of that. All right. And then I'm going to add about a quarter teaspoon of garam masala. This is a blend of spices. You get garam masala packets anywhere in any supermarket or at an Indian grocery store or on Amazon. It's kind of like the side five spice you have in Chinese cooking. Slightly different, but same concept. And that, you know, with the cinnamon and the star anise, and cloves and all that, it gives it a fantastic flavor. Not to speak of heavenly aromas. It's just smelling so good already. All right. So now before we put the chicken in, I'm going to add three tablespoons of plain yogurt. So I'm going to put one in first. Mix it nicely. I don't put all three of it together and then it starts to curdle. second spoon put that in nicely All right. and then now we're going to add the third tablespoon of this is whole milk yogurt alright so I'm going to blend the last tablespoon of yogurt into our chicken sag or chicken spinach, chicken sag voila. Basically it's chicken cooked in a nice mild but flavorful spinach gravy. It's a very popular Indian dish 
from the northern border of India, North Indian. And you get this in a lot of the Indian restaurants in the USA and everywhere. All right. That's looking fantastic. At this point, I'm going to add about half to three fourths cup of water and the same jar in which we had the spinach slurry I added some water so can we can get all the rest of that all right and then I'm going to give it a quick toss and make sure the water kind of blends in and then we'll scrape off the spinach that's sticking to the side. Now it's time to add a chicken in. So here I have five chicken thighs. So these were skin off, peeled, I cut them into large pieces, not too tiny, like the tikkas, these are larger pieces of five chicken thighs without skin. That's going to go in there. And then I'm going to make sure that every piece of chicken is coated with the sauce. Look at that. It's already looking fantastic. All right. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to cover the chicken salad or chicken and spinach. Cover it and cook it on medium low for 20 to 25 minutes or until the chicken thighs are cooked thoroughly and then we'll open it and see how it looks add this adjust the seasoning salt if need to and then we're going to plate it all right so see you back in 25 minutes all right friends so let's see how our chicken sag or chicken sagwala looks How beautiful does that look? Oh my goodness. The aromas are fantastic. Spicy, delicious, flavorful. You know, chicken thighs cooked in spinach and tomato. You know, curry or sauce. Now it's nice and thick gravy. It's time to plate that. Mmm, that looks fantastic. All right, friends, so there you have it, our delicious chicken sag or chicken sagwala. It's a North Indian recipe made of chicken, which is cooked in a spinach and tomato gravy with spices and yogurt. And it's looking fantastic, smelling awesome. It's also called murg. Sagwala, meaning murk for chicken and sag for spinach. And please make sure you check out the full recipe on my cooking channel Gastro Guru on YouTube. And do like, share, and subscribe. There are other delicious recipes, you know, you will love them. So thank you very much. And bon appetit.